Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your HP and VX360. This is the first thing that shows after powering on your laptop. If you don't know how to power it on, just click on this power button right here and it will turn on itself. Also, you may want to make sure right. You may want to make sure that your laptop is plugged into power so you don't run out of battery. The first thing that shows is usually the country or region. Sometimes it's also the language, but I had the country or region, so I just need to select it, then click on yes. Now, select the keyboard input layout. So I'm gonna find mine. Then click on yes. Now it asks you if you want to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm gonna skip that, but if you want, you can just click on add layout. Now you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It is unfortunately mandatory to connect to the network, so I'm gonna just select my network and connect, although I would prefer to set it up without it, but I don't have the choice, so Let's just enter the password and go further. And now it'll check for updates. I believe I don't have any updates and I hope so. But if you do, then it'll just install them so you don't need to worry, you don't need to click on anything. It'll install them automatically and then just like let you continue with the setup. So I'm going to click on access, accept, then uh, you can rename your device, but I'm going to skip it because it'll take more time because the device needs to restart after the changing of the name. Now it's checking for Windows updates again, and this time it has more probabili probability of installing that update and the update takes a long while, sometimes even 20 or 25 minutes. But in my case, fortunately, it didn't want to install it. So let's just click on sign in. And unfortunately, on Windows 11, it is mandatory to sign in to your Microsoft account. So let's do it. Enter. And now I'm going to plug in my keyboard so you don't see my password. Okay, and now the Microsoft account is uh, is being added. Also, if you don't have it, then uh, you can skip this step. Uh, no, you cannot skip this step. You can create one in the login window. So, uh, so that's how you do it. Now it asks you if you want to set up your face unlock. So I will click on yes, set up. You can also skip it. So I'm gonna center my face in the frame, then look directly into the camera. Now I'm set, so let's click on next. Now set up a pin, so let's click on create pin. Now you can type the pin in. So if you want to include letters and symbols, click on include letters and symbols. But I'm gonna do a numerical pin okay and now let's click on okay now it asks if you want to let microsoft and apps use your location so i'm gonna click on yes then click on accept then if you want to enable find my device let's click on yes as well then if you want to send diagnostic data to Microsoft, improve inking and typing. Then if you want to get tailored experiences, whatever it means, let's click on no. Then if you want to let apps use advertising ID, I'm going to click on no. But all of these choices are up to you. You should just read and decide on yourself. Now 
Um, sometimes if you had another PC signed into that account, it'll ask you if you want to restore it from your PC backup. But I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna click on more options and set up as new PC, but you can set it up as you want. Now it'll get a few things ready and try to install some bloatware and we'll be good to go in a moment. So now you need to like select the things that you do on your laptop or just click on skip. Then um, if you want to use your phone from your PC then you can scan this QR code if you have an Android phone and if you have an iPhone then you cl cl can click on skip then you'll be able to pair it later. So I'm gonna skip that. Now if you want to backup my files I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on don't backup then click on next. But you, was, you would most probably want to backup so if you want then uh, feel free to backup. Then it asks you if you want to pay mm, about $105 uh, per year, so I don't. And also if you want to pay $2 monthly, so I'm gonna also decline that as well. And then just click on next, so you can use Microsoft 365 for free. And now you are set up. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.